Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is a follow-up to the uh, first tutorial about the wobble base tips. Uh, what this is, is I'm going to show you some useful tricks with the combinator because I didn't really show you how I set it up. I just kind of showed you what it could do. So let's start off with the combinator. Now, what a combinator is, it essentially helps you control uh, more than one synth or more than one effect uh, at once. It gives you more hands than you really have, essentially. Uh, so let's create a line mixer inside. You usually want to start off with a mixer, either a 14 or a 6. Uh, I usually use a 6 because it's smaller and easier to work with. Now, after you have a combinator and a mixer, you can start adding instruments. So let's create a piano first. Now I'm just going to pick an NNXT advanced sampler. Alright, and you hear the piano. And you see that when you hit tab, it automatically connects the uh, NNXT into your mixer and your mixer into your combinator. Okay, so now let's create a second instrument. Let's create, uh, it doesn't even really matter, let's create a Thor. I'm in reason four, so actually not everyone has it yet. Let's just use a subtractor so it's we can understand. Um, all right, and the subtractor brings up a bass guitar for me, but let's just change that to the juicer. So now, as you see, after you create a second instrument, it'll do the same thing. It'll wire it to your mixer. So now, essentially, you have a mixer within the combinator that you can mix the tracks. Okay. Now, after you, you have tried out your instruments and you figure it out and you're ready to play, the next thing you want to look at is up here. You have a bunch of rotary knobs and buttons that are uh, blank. They're, they're for you to choose what you want to do with them. So this is how you use them. You open up the programmer. Now inside the programmer, you'll see the list of what's inside of your combinator over here. And um, over here, after you click on something, it'll show you your targets. So for example, we click on the line mixer. And then we go over here, and it'll show us rotary 1, 2, 3, 4, and the four buttons. So let's go to rotary 1. As soon as you click it, it'll give you pretty much all the options that you can control and automate, which is record onto the mixer. So let's use it for channel 1 level. Now, as I turn this all the way up, if you look at the first level here, it's all the way up. If I bring it all the way down, it goes all the way down. So essentially you can control the uh, piano level. And the rotary isn't just for the mixer. Let's, for example, go to the subtractor. We'll go to rotary 2 because rotary 1 is already doing something. I mean, not to say that you can't layer what the rotary does. That's what a combinator is for. You can have rotary 1 do three, four, ten different things, but we're just going to keep it simple. So let's go to Rotary 2. And since I clicked on the subtractor, I have different options now. So let's make Rotary 2 to the, uh, the first oscillation wave. Uh, it's going to affect the octave. Okay, so let's go back up here. Now let's mute the piano by lowering that. And now as I play this... <laughs> the octave. Now the same thing applies for the buttons. Let's go to back to the line mixer and if you go to button 1 you can affect it to do a channel 1 mute. So that way you don't have to bring the piano volume down if you don't want to hear it. So you're playing the piano and the brass and then you mute the piano. Alright, these are just the basics of what a combinator can do. Um, you got to be creative with it. Uh, the only real limits is uh, your creativity. So let's see what you guys can do.
All right, if you need any other tutorials, uh, please leave a comment. And uh, if this tutorial helped, please leave a comment too. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Peace.